I can't hear you. Just say it. I have birth control pills. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. My parents gave me birth control pills. Oh, because of me? Why else? But we're not having sex. We're not even going out with each other. We're just friends. So are we. Maybe she wants to have sex with someone else. No. I don't even know if I want to have sex. And, you know, if I do want to have sex, I can have safe sex. Well, that's good. If you have sex, you should still use a condom, though. Thanks for telling me. Please. Your parents let you go on the pill? Well, I'm not on it. I just have them. Because they found these condoms Adrian gave me, so they thought I should have the pill, you know, just as a precaution, in case anything happens. But nothing is going to happen, right, Grace? Because you know that would be wrong, especially since you're a Christian. Are you still dating your brother? Yeah, I am. But he's my stepbrother. We've never lived in the same house, and uh, we're not related. Still, I don't think you're exactly in a position to make any judgments. Neither are you. So when are you going to go out with him again? Tonight. Oh. Yeah, I'm not doing anything tonight. I have to go to Amy's. I'm meeting this couple that wants to adopt our son. Our son? You and Amy are a couple now? Well, she's the mother of my son. That'll be the adoptive couple's son, not yours and Amy's son. Yeah, if it all works out. I hope it all works out. Yeah, me too. See you, Ricky. What you want to do that for? You shouldn't tell him you have birth control pills. He's just going to try and have sex with you. And so is half the school. Really? Oh, don't play all innocent with me. You know what you're doing. You're trying to get back with Ricky, and we both agreed that we were not going to go out with Ricky. I know, but I think that was based on the fact that Ricky's not going out with us. What does that mean? It means that if Ricky wants to go out with me, I think I have to go out with him. What? I'm just being honest. I'm going to go out with my brother tonight and then invite Ricky over to have sex with me. How's that for being honest? Grace, wait up. Oh, hey, Ricky. Look, do yourself a favor and don't spread it all over school that you're on birth control pills. Might attract the wrong guy. Oh. Yeah, and you don't want to attract the wrong guy. No, I don't. I want to attract the right guy. I hope everything goes really well tonight. Good luck. Yeah. So, uh, you're just gonna stay home tonight? Yeah. I'd like to call you, but if I call you, then I'm afraid you'll think I'm trying to get with you. And I just want to focus on Amy and the baby right now. Yeah, I understand. That's fine. But you can still call me. Anytime. Thank you for having me over for dinner. Mm -hmm. We'll order a pizza or something if you're still hungry. I can't believe that, Amy. She's a boyfriend. A husband. Yeah, she and Ben are married. They got married in a church. I don't think it's actually a church. Maybe they just make it look like a chapel. A church chapel, what's the difference? Those two promise to stay together till death. Yeah, that's a pretty big promise. And they made that promise to God. Yeah, well, they made that promise to Albert anyway. No, so they're married. Yeah, well, Amy didn't look like she was married to Ben today. She looked like she was married to Ricky. I don't want to be married to Ricky. Are you kidding me? You caught us sleeping together. Oh, I thought you guys were having sex. I'm kidding. It's just that Ricky has to have somebody to have sex with right now, and that can't be me. Even if he's thinking about me while he's having sex with you. He's not thinking about you while he's having sex with me. Maybe not, but I bet I just ruined sex with Ricky for you, didn't I? Mm -mm. Nothing can ruin sex with Ricky for me. Are you sure? He's not thinking about you. Yeah, well, obviously he's thinking about Amy. 